I'm Diane Mueller. I'm the Director of Community Development at Red Hat and one of the lead organizers behind OpenShift Commons, as well as um, one of the co-chairs for the OKD, the open source side of OpenShift's um, uh, working group. And so we're going to have a lot of stuff to cover today. And we're already running a little late. So I'm going to be pretty quick about this opening thing. So today is all about open source, open communities, and open collaboration. And what I always think of OpenShift Commons when we do them at KubeCons, we do them virtually, we do them regionally, we just did one in Israel a few weeks back. But this is about facial recognition. You know, we talk about AI and all this, but this is the in-person kind of thing. What I really want you to take away from today is to meet the people sitting next to you, make a connection, meet your peers, Get ready, prepped up, so that when you're in the hallway for the rest of KubeCon, you um, have a few people you already know, if you, so you've have, you're not all strangers for the rest of the week. Because today is all about making those connections that really are going to drive continuous innovation, not just into Red Hat products, but into the upstream and into your enterprises and into the other places where we live and breathe um, cloud-native technology. So please, um, I'm really thrilled that you're all here today in the room. I'm, I'm glad you're all masks. I'll be masked when I'm not um, on stage and in between. And there's tons of hand sanitizers. And we even have baskets of oranges there if you need a snack. So today, um, we focus, usually we're, we're very navel gazing in this community. And we're, we talk a lot about Kubernetes and how wonderful it is and all the sub projects of Kubernetes. But in the CNCF, we all know there's a ton of other projects as well that are part and parcel of what OpenShift delivers. So today you're going to hear from a lot of the community leads, some of the product managers, a couple of customers, and we're all going to talk about the different open source projects that are under the hood and in the platform that um, makes up OpenShift and our um, version of uh, Kubernetes. Um, and there's a lot going on. But what I like to think about in um, community development, which is my arena, um, I've long since stopped programming, um, though I am a Python um, programmer. So if you want advice on that, I'll, I'll gladly give it to you, uh, why it's the best language besides Go. Um, but it's really about making the connections. Because none of these projects within the CNCF ecosystem and outside of it in the greater um, cloud technology world, um, that we're all interconnected. And so I often throw this um, diagram up on, um, on the screen. And each one of those little points is a human person that has made some GitHub contribution. And in this case, we are looking at Kubernetes um, and Istio and the operator framework and Kubevert, which are three things that I've been researching the interconnectivity of. But what I really want to emphasize here is the number of connections between projects. So when we, we look at projects, Often, um, in this one, I've, I filled it out just sort of, I think, on the, just on the open shift red hatters that are working on the project. So I, for me, um, I've been working in the CNCF ecosystem and on Kubernetes and on OpenShift since nine years ago when it was a MongoDB platform as a service offering and when it was just Origin before OKD. And it was really easy for me to keep track of y'all. I could figure out where everybody was. I knew a lot of them were inside of Red Hat. A few of them were outside. I knew most of the customers. And that was knowable. Now it's not really knowable who all of you all are and what all of the interconnections are. So we have to apply, and I, I do use some tools from a company called Biturgia to keep track of you all and to try and find the people who are the bridges between the projects so that when I need to get something done for the Kubevert community or the operator framework, there's some missing operator or something along that line that needs to be revved, I can track down someone who's knowledgeable in both spaces. And I can see that over time with some of these things. And so I can drill down in each one of these individual people, might be like on this case here, um, I can drill down and I know that it's Vadim, and I know who Vadim is, and he's um, been really a wonderful collaborator with us for the, um, the past 
three years in the OKD working group, also helping to get all of the releases out for OKD um, for the past, you know, unbelievable amount of time he's put in to that. And I really want to thank him for all the work that he's done. Is, is Vadim in the room today? Yet? Yeah, not yet. He will be because he's going to be on stage too later this afternoon to bring you an update in a lightning talk on um, the OKD um, latest release and where we're going in the roadmap for OKD. So you, there's going to be a lot of very fast paced stuff because there's a lot of stuff that you all are doing on our platform and under our platform and with our platform. There's a ton of people who are what I call the other extended community members, and those are the end users. And if you've heard me talk before, um, I'll also talk about how the changing dynamics in open source communities has made it such that a lot of the end users, some of whom are in the room today and going to speak with us, are also side by side working in the upstream with us. And that's a big change over the past nine years. It's not as vendor driven. There's a ton of um, what I call virtuous end users who are now getting in the game and doing this work. And a number of you belong to this thing called the OpenShift Commons. Um, and what we've tried to do is create a space, and that's really what I'm all about and what today is about, is creating a space for you all to get together, to connect with each other, whether it's um, on Prometheus or the operator framework or Kubevert or some other aspect of one of the many flavors of OpenShift so that you can share your experiences, not just listen to me, but listen to the product managers, to yourselves, to ask questions of us. Um, in, if you're in the virtual world, there's a virtual Q&A, so ask a question over there and we'll relay it to the speakers. We have an AMA session at the end of the day, which we're gonna try and get all of your questions answered at. We'll get all the Red Hatters and guest speakers on stage. But if you have a chance and you haven't joined OpenShift Commons and want to get in on some of this, get into our Slack channel, come to some of our SIGs, um, there's a QR code up here, or you can go to commons.openshift.org and join there. Um, the thing about um, OpenShift is, um, and you're going to hear about this today, is it runs in a lot of places and there's a lot of flavors of it. And so depending on um, where you're running, you're going to hear from different um, folks today from Amazon, whom we're grateful for sponsoring us and, and co-hosting with us today, making sure that you get your lunches and the AV works. Um, so there's a lot of folks here who have different flavors of OpenShift, and you're going to hear from them um, today at different points and, then, and be able to ask questions of them as well. So like I said, I really want to do a shout out to Amazon. Um, they've sent one of my favorite presenters, Sai and um, Javier are going to give us a, a talk on, on Rosa right after the, the roadmap talk that's up next. And um, we have a really packed agenda. So there is a coffee break. I am going to let you get up and have a bio break, but I'm going to ask you to come back as quickly as you can. Um, and we're going to take a lunch. If the logistics for lunch is you need to get a little um, orange tab in order to get fed and go out and get your box lunch. You can always bring your box lunch right back into here if you like. If you're in the virtual world, that's when you have to go grab your own meal. Um, we couldn't send you virtual food or Uber Lyft it to you. So there's a lot of stuff on the menu. Um, there will be maybe an opportunity for a coffee break in the afternoon. Well, depends. A couple of folks um, have fallen off the radar. Um, it, today, so we've extended one of the security talks a little bit longer. Um, Kristen Newcomer, if um, my colleague Karina uh, manages to make it out of the uh, airport in Paris here, we'll hear from her as well and we'll sneak a little bit more of the security in there. But there's a ton of topics. So um, I know we started late. I wanted to get, make sure that you got a good hour full for the, um, up, uh, the product roadmap and the update and release on OpenShift. So I'm going to pause now and thank you all. Um, get started. There's lots of ways to do it. It's really easy. You can click on any of those links. You'll make yourself um, very happy.